All right, folks, welcome back to Mega Man Legends. Uh, we're going to go save a pregnant lady. <laughs> Never thought you'd hear that in a Mega Man Legends game, or a Mega Man game, uh, in this case. We have to go to the um, the thing. we got to go to the vegetable stand or something like that in Apple Market. I was actually misremembering the quest. I had to sit there and think about it for a moment. She is in Cardin Forest, but not yet. I'm pretty sure we got to speak to somebody. Is it you? My wife's gone for a walk and hasn't come back yet. I hope she's all right. I mean, in her condition, if something were to happen, and then that kid just randomly ran off like, like he had something to do with it. <laughs> okay, we have to go find her, and I think we have to take her to the hospital. It's a short quest. It's, it's really nothing that extravagant, but also we have our awesome ass... Active Buster that looks way overkill. Absolutely overkill. Just skating around with her skates here going really fast. And she is right over here. In the most hidden ass place to go to the hospital. Behind a freaking mountainside. Cool lady. Came out here to get some fresh air and look at that scenery. Or look at the scenery. <laughs> but my stomach, oh it hurts. Uh, see if she gets better. No, take her to the hospital. Go straight to the freaking hospital. Go. <laughs> Anna, are you all right? Man ran directly into the wall. He didn't even go into the door. He just ran directly into the wall. Okay, there's nobody out here, right? Well, there's that guy. Hey. If you're worried about that woman who just came in, she's fine. Maybe you should come back after he's come down a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I think now at this point we just exit the door, or then go back in the door, or then I think uh, he's out in the lobby. Something like that. You out here, bub? Yes, I think I think it's you. You're the one who helped Anna, aren't you? Thank you so much. Here, take this as a token of my thanks. I got the sunlight. We literally just got the sun. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, there was that. And now, I believe the rest of what we got to do is uh, it takes place after the next um, the next major boss, I think. We'll figure that out. I think, first of all, what I might do, though, is we're going to head over to the, uh, the hideout and check on Jim and the gang and see if they need any other items and such. Cause I know at one part, at one part of our playthrough, like a while back in the walkthrough, I mean, uh, we gave them the saw and they were still building on the clubhouse. So let me skate my ass over there and figure out what they're up to. Cause I know at some point we got to get them like a whole bunch of stuff, like different beetles and bugs and, oh man, being a kid, having all that imagination. <laughs> Although, to be fair, they are literally building on a house. I mean, look at this thing. It's, like, actually pretty damn good. All right. What up, crew? I'm back. The base is finished. What do you think? We wouldn't have been able to do it without your help. Thanks. That pile of stuff over there has all of our trophies in it. I suppose you could take something for yourself if you want to. Come back and see us again sometime. You got it, bud. You got it. Got a pile of junk over here. Dude, just look at this. They like literally went and made like all this themselves and they got like a a loot poster over there. Okay, what's up? It's a pile of odds and ends. Found the Marwolf shell. Okay. It's a pile of odds and ends. Doesn't look like there's anything valuable. Okay. Crap. It's perfect. Oh, yeah. We finally finished it. I don't think we're done, however, because they need other things that you can bring them. Yeah. Like, I think there's, like, a magazine. There's a couple beetles and et cetera, et cetera. And you can actually come back and get uh, other stuff. I'm going to go check and see if that magazine's over there. I think it is. Yep, right here. You found a comic book. In the Japanese version, that is pornography. 
Now I'm going to do a little jump cut here and go look for the bugs. I think I know where they're both at, but I don't necessarily know if they're there right now. All right, yeah, the bugs here. One of the bugs is here. If you guys don't know where I'm at, this one here is the stag beetle. I'll show you where I'm at. So you know like where the marwolf fight was at for a closer uh, when we went over there? This is basically like where we went and got the powered buster and it's over by a tree. Now the next place we're going to go look uh, actually takes place where Roll was guarding us with the support car and we had to fight our way through a bunch of tanks on the way to uh, the Carden Ruins. That I believe is where the other bug is at but I'm going to jump ahead and not waste your all's time. You guys remember this area right? So here is where we get the other uh, beetle. And it should be, yep, right here. And now we have found the beetle. So now we have both the beetles, and I don't know if there's anything else that we have to get the kids, but um, I'll double check. We'll double check. All right, we're heading back towards the hideout. I think we got everything, because I actually can't recall anything else. Stag beetle, would you want some broken circuits for it? Yeah, sounds good. Broken circuits from the, the junk over there. Let us know if you find any more cool stuff. Got another beetle. Okay. Old heater, yes. Get get it from the junk over there. And then... Action Man with a hologram cover. AKA the nudie mag. Okay. X Buster. Yes. All right. Good stuff. And now I believe we can collect everything. Old heater. The axe buster. And the broken circus. I believe that's everything. You guys might have to let me know if I have forgotten anything from this place <laughs> once I finish the freaking walkthrough. And I'll make an extra video and go back and get everything. So. All right. All right, folks. We are getting ready to actually head towards the next boss. And that is going to be Theodore Bruno. We have uh, to pretty much go to the main gate at this point. Um, I believe there's only like one or two more side missions. And then after that, it's the um, museum. And I think we're pretty much 100% besides purchasing all of the uh, special weapon, um, not special weapons, but all of the buster parts and that kind of thing. If you want to 100%. So right now though, we're going to go to the main gate and on the way we're going to adopt a cat <laughs> so time to adopt kitty where are you at meow <laughs> take it home time to adopt kitty and now look at this before we head in here, look at this. We're at the main gate. And there are actually, I believe, a few people just kind of around. Like, look at this guy. An interest to the main gate opened up. Who knows what might come out of there. Might be a good idea to keep our distance. Absolutely. There's another guy over here, too. Look at this. The main gate's opened up. There's a door here. Are you going to go inside? Hell yeah. And shout outs to a badass song. Absolute unit of a song. Dude, when I first came in here, like in the first playthrough I ever did, I was just like, oh my goodness. This place looks freaking scary. Strange, it looks strange as hell, and it's got a badass song. Now, first of all, look at this place. We're getting ready to get into it here, and I hope I have time, because this is like the first half of the main gate. Um, it's very clean. I mean, it's like claustrophobic, though, because the ceiling is super low. But look at those walls. This place has never been touched by carbon, a.k.a. a person being in here. I mean, like, literally no one's ever been in here in terms of just being on the island and walking in. I mean, it's been locked down hard pretty much until we came here. And so with that being said, we... Mega Man, be careful. We move on. I don't like the looks of this place. 
And notice how just bright it is in here. It's like very well lit. And we have Gorobeshu. Might need to change my buster parts. Let me do that. Now notice these Gorobeshu here are different they're a different color. I think they might have more HP. I'm not quite sure. Um, but we'll we'll see. We shall see. I think that's actually a, a good buster setup. Hold up. Can I? Yeah, I don't really need range. Not really. I'll, I'll take that. I think I'll take that over the other. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. All right. Now you can skate this whole place, but yeah. It's literally a freaking spiral. Like if you're to look at oh, never mind, the map doesn't show you shit. Although the claustrophobic hallways here kind of make it hard to fight these guys. Although we're collecting all of their money. Absolutely every single bit of it. Ah, no guy there. From one over here? No. Okay. I think this is like 10,000 zenny. A hole in the wall. Literally, dude, these walls are just like freaking armor panels. Just look at it. And notice they're always, they're different. The thing is about tiling and doing like textures for walls in a video game, like them not just being like a repetitious thing and like them using different kinds of tiles like this, just makes the place look fresh. And notice that they like alternate between uh, the two. It's not just like like one or the other, like over and over. And then these floors, they do the, they're doing the exact same thing. It's got like a plate here, this red plate. Then it's got like, almost looks like just like dirt or like the ground. It's pretty cool. And then like the ceiling is just like a, it's just like a repetition of like the same thing, but yeah. It's a spiral. And it goes down a long way too. Uh, don't do it. Yeah, roll. It's it's uh it's going down somewhere. Got our first door here, and you can kind of abuse the PlayStation graphics to like look inside the door. Got to be careful though. There's two of them in here. Take one of them oh, out of the time, if you can. I'm actually keeping an eye on the other one more than I am the one I'm shooting at, because I know what he's doing. And then... <laughs> it doesn't do shit. Yeah, it's all good, though. I realized I wasted some ammo for the boss coming up, but it's all good. Shouldn't be too bad either way. Now, we actually just picked up the Buster Unit Omega. Um, probably going to go... Hmm. We have max attack. Holy shit, that's actually a good Buster. Uh, let me see if I have anything else in here that's like... We can go full-on range if we want to. Look, we could like literally max out two things, but... I'm not stutter shooting, so I, I want some energy. That's actually pretty okay. If, if I remember, like, there's a pretty decent buster set up here with this. Yeah, that's not too bad. We'll go with it. And now. Going out of range, huh? All right. I was trying to wait for that dialogue to finish playing there because we are heading into a little bit of a different color scheme. Like now we're almost in like what would seem to be the outer area of the main gate, considering the main gate theme is still playing. We're in like an outer area. And now we have a big door here that's blocking off something that which we can't see. You can see a little bit. All right. Please enter command. Operate central gate or unlock the sub cities. Well, I'm going to go to this one first. Operate central gate. 
OS voice warning. The central gate has been locked by Eden. Activation requires Mega Override through the use of the Watcher, Sleeper, and Dreamer keys. Uh-oh. That's a thing. We gotta have three keys yet again. Unlock subsidies. OS voice warning. Unlocking the subsidy entrances may cause a breach of security protocols. Do you still want to unlock the subsidies? Yes. OS voice command acknowledged. Unlock subsidy entrances. The switch I just pulled should have activated the portals to the living quarters. They should have appeared somewhere on the island. Guess it's time to start looking for them. Now, if you're wondering what the living quarters are, like what all this even means, so that really, really gets into the lore, but they're essentially these bunkers where test humans or test carbons lived that this master created. Now, if you're confused, uh, you'll learn more at the very end like the final cutscene of the game, but essentially it's like this. People were created to live on this island. If the test fails or something goes wrong, they all pretty much die and get and the island restarts with the same people. Just reset, lose all your memories and all of that. It gets really freaking weird. And that's where the very beginning prototype versions of the humans lived. And they're heavily guarded. Now they're heavily guarded. If you look over here, we have the Karamuna Bash. Or at least one of them. Oh, don't do it, Daddy. All right. So we'll probably more than likely get to the next boss, Theodore Bruno, in the next video. However, I'm going to explore the main gate here just a little bit. We'll explore this part here just to kind of go ahead and cap it off, and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, got a red Zakabon in here. Trying to be careful here because there's actually another one right here. Ooh, dodge your ass. Ooh, I was going to roll it again if he was going to attack me. They hurt quite a bit when they hit you, too, so you just got to be careful. Zakabon. Notice that the theme of this place is all kind of staying, you know, this off-colored version of the main gate. It's because this is like our outer walls of it, essentially. So, we're exploring the outer area of it. Anything inside? We found the auto-fire barrel. Right on on the blunted drill so now we have the drill if we want to use that for our explorations uh, where do we go here I don't think we went left here there's one more Karamuna bash down in here anything inside 2170 bucks including this one what's this one shiny red stone all right where is the yep Ooh, got him right as he was getting ready to jump and kill me. And that's pretty much all of this outer area. That Those are all the items that you are to collect, essentially. You know, because if, you know, you go over here to this door here, this door here, I'm not going to go through this way yet, but this basically leads to all of the areas that interconnect every single sub gate, ruin, all that stuff together. So we're not going to go that way yet. For now, we're going to head over to this direction. Which this will actually lead, lead us towards the next boss. Which we're almost there. Notice the theme change. It's because it's just a connecting area that leads outside. So, before we actually do the next boss, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Where we go fight Theodore Bruno.